So the other day, I got an email from my accountant saying they need a spreadsheet with all of my business expenses. You know, the lunches I had, the coffees I had, any other purchases I made. And they don't just want the list of the expenses, they want the taxes paid, the tips paid, and like what the category of the expense was. And they need that by end of the week. So I had a lot of expenses. Uh, and I was like, I can do this manually, which is gonna take me like 10, 15, maybe 20 hours and a lot of pain, or I could probably build an automation to do it for me guess which one I did. So here's the automation I built. Basically, as soon as I add a photo of my receipt onto Slack, it's going to extract all the information I need and add it to a spreadsheet automatically. Here, here's the data. You know, here's my spreadsheet with the date, expense, total amount, GST paid, PST paid, tip, and the category. And this is my receipt. So the information is accurate. So the automation works. So let me show you how you can build this without any coding. You know, you know, I like using Zapier. So I'm going to use Zapier for this automation as well. And my first step is going to be using Slack. So that way, every time I'm at a, you know, I'm at a lunch meeting or I have a business expense, I can just upload that receipt to Slack quickly and it's going to trigger my automation right off the bat. So in Slack, my setup is going to be, um, you know, the new file that's a trigger event. So that way, as soon as I upload that receipt, it's going to trigger the automation. Under configuration, I created a new channel called expenses. So that way, this automation only triggers when there's a new file in this channel and not anywhere else in my Slack workspace. So for every step, we're going to just test it just to make sure it all works correctly. And now we're going to move on to our second step, which is adding the file to Google Drive. I mean, you may think it's redundant, but I'm doing it. So that way I have like all my receipts in the same place and I can delete those photos off my phone. So again, completely up to you or you can skip the first step. Maybe you can just upload directly to Google Drive and that way that's going to trigger the automation and you don't need to worry about Slack. So for Google Drive, again, a very similar process. You know, my app is Google Drive. My action item is going to be upload the file. I'm going to connect my account and for configuration, I'm going to like pick the folder. So I created a new folder for this. So that way I can have different folders for different years and I'm just going to upload the file over there. I'm going to test it to make sure it works correctly. And now I'm going to introduce my AI step. So I'm going to use ChatGPT as my app and my action event is going to be analyze image content with vision. So vision is like ChatGPT's AI product that looks at the images and can extract information, you know, make analysis and do all that jazz from it. Under configuration, I'm going to like keep a simple message that I'm attaching a receipt. Can you please extract this, this, this information from the receipt? That's pretty much it. And under image, I'm gonna like pick the file that I added to Slack. So that way it has context for the image and it knows what I'm asking it to do. And I'm gonna test the step again, just so that everything is working smoothly so far. And my next step would be to extract the data from the receipt. So I've already told AI that I need this, this, this information, but imagine like, you know, if you are working with ChatGPT and you ask it to like, hey, here's my receipt, do this, this, this for me. The result, you know, it's gonna be like like a paragraph. Even if you ask it to create a table, but you don't really know mm -hmm. what, and like, you know, when you need to add that information to spreadsheet, like, hey, you know, which one was like GST, which was like, you know, total amount, which was the vendor. So we're gonna take the unstructured data and add a bit more structure to it. This is why we're gonna use this action called extract structured data, again, with ChatGPT. So under configuration, you know, in the unstructured text box, I'm gonna add that image analysis that we did in the previous step. And under values to extract, I'm just gonna put all the values I need to extract from that analysis. So it's a vendor name or the business name, the date of the receipt, the expense category, total tip given, the GST, PST charge, and the total amount. So now what it's going to do is it's going to create all these variables. So I can just like ask, you know, what was the business name? What was this? And it knows which information that that one's referring to, which is going to bring to my next step to add all the data into a spreadsheet. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet row as my action event. And then under configuration, I'm going to pick the spreadsheet. So again, I created a new spreadsheet here. So I can have different spreadsheets for every year. And I'm going to select the worksheet and I'm just going to map fields one to one. So date, Okay, now I know that, you know, from structured data, this is my variable for data, the receipt. I'm gonna input that. Expenses, I'm gonna pick that. Total amount, I'm gonna pick that, and so on and so forth. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna test it, and if everything looks good, hit publish and automation is good to go. Now, every time you upload a receipt onto Slack or Google Drive, it's going to extract all the things you need to know and add it to a spreadsheet. So when the year end comes and your accountant is like, hey, I need all the information to file taxes for you. I'm like, dude, here's a spreadsheet. It's all done already. Nice. So once I was done building the automation, I mean, it took me like five minutes. Uh, I was like, did I just over-engineer this? Like, shouldn't QuickBooks have a feature to do that as well? So I went into perplexity and I was like, hey, you know, can does like QuickBooks Online have this feature on the free plan? And I was like, shit. So to make myself feel better, I was like, if QuickBooks Online does have that feature for free, like if I build this automation, is this really a real use case here? <laughs> so then I was like, okay, I'm going to try the feature in QuickBooks to see if it's actually useful or not. So I did. And it turns out, 
uh, once I do do the QuickBooks feature, it's just a lot more complicated. Like it just takes more time and it's not gonna pick the right tax thing either. So I actually have to pick that manually. Plus like, you know, I'm not gonna be able to generate that spreadsheet I need anyway. So like my kind of needs a spreadsheet anyway. So might as well just use this automation and maybe you can add a step here in my automation to also add this to QuickBooks. So all the record is also in the QuickBooks all done automatically. So I knew this was gonna be the question in the comments, like why not just use like QuickBooks online scanner feature. So that's the reason, you know, I need the spreadsheet and also like, it's just more clunky. So that's the video. So if this was useful, share this with a friend who's gonna find this useful too. And subscribe to my newsletter to learn more on how you can integrate AI and tech in your business. Because more time you'll save, more time you'll have fun. I'll see you in the next one.